Hi, everybody. This is Lauren Thinamore with the Broomfield Chamber. I am here with Clelia McVeigh uh, with the Broomfield Workforce Center, and we are doing a podcast on Workforce Development Month. So just to get started, um, I guess I just wanted to ask you, um, when is Workforce Development Month? And, you know, maybe tell us a little bit about the history. Great. Right. Here, the governor proclaims the month of September is Workforce Development Month honoring the contributions workers and employers have made to strengthen the prosperity and the well-being of Colorado. Last week at the August 23rd City Council meeting, Mayor Castriata proclaimed the month of September Workforce Development Month for the city and county of Brunfield. With the fundamental changes to the workforce brought on by COVID-19, it has become critical to promote Rescaling, upscaling, and next scaling to enable Brimfielders the ability to compete for the jobs of today and support employers to remain relevant in an evolving industry. Workforce centers around the country provide a wide array of no cost services and programs to support job seekers on their employment journey and help local businesses find the talent that they need to successfully run these businesses. In addition to the regularly monthly events and activities provided by the Workforce Center, the September calendar is jam-packed. It has an expanding offering um, of virtual and in-person workshops, events, and all of these are free and open to the public. And we're really excited to be offering these. All right, awesome. Well, thank you for the um, history of Workforce Development Month and letting us know that September is Workforce Development Month. Um, can you please tell us, you know, what exactly is Workforce Development Month and what does it entail? What do people, like, what are, what should people expect from Workforce Development Month? The theme for the 2022 Brimfield Workforce Development Month is Workforce Strong. During the month, the CDLE, Colorado Department of Labor and Employment, and its partners, including Brimfield Workforce Center, will be featuring resources that Colorado's workers, employers, and communities can use to help advance their careers, grow their business, and ensure future economic prosperity. Resources include the important data on in-demand skills and in growing industries, labor market trends, upcoming trainings, events, and so much more. As we all know, there were so many changes to the workforce in general that came about due to COVID-19. Workforce centers realized how critical it had become to promote the upskilling, reskilling, and next skilling to enable Brimfielders the ability to compete for the jobs of today and to support employers in an evolving industry. Workforce centers across Colorado and the country provide a wide variety of no-cost services and programs to help support job seekers on their employment journey. We also work really hard to help local businesses find the talent that they need to successfully keep their businesses running and successful. Sweet, awesome, thanks, Clelia. Um, so, um, kind of wrapping up the podcast, um, it sounds like Workforce Development Month will be awesome for people looking for jobs and um, just looking to gain more skills. But um, can you tell me a little bit more about the activities that the Brimfield Workforce Center has been planning or has coming up? Right. Well, we're really excited to kick off the month with the resource and networking fair, and it's going to highlight local nonprofits and other city and county Brumfield departments that provide resources for the residents of Brumfield and its surrounding communities. The event is called Community Connect, Coffee, Cookies, and Connections. It will be on September 7th from 1230 to 3 at the Health and Human Service Building, and that's located at 100 Spader Way. Again, it is an opportunity to showcase all of the wonderful services and resources in our community and the surrounding areas. Some of the organizations that will be there are the following, and I'm gonna read them. A Precious Child, Health and Human Services, Brumfield Library, 
Brimfield Police Department, the Workforce Center, Coal Creek Adult Education, Brimfield Fish, Front Range Community College, um, Veteran Services, Mental Health Partners, Public Health and the Environment, Senior Services, Smart Community, DVR, The Refuge, and Thrive. So there's quite a few. We're excited that that many um, organizations are participating. And we would love it if you could please stop by the Community Connect event, grab a snack, some swag, and learn about all the resources that are available to Broomfield residents. We also want to encourage job seekers to join the workshops throughout the month to learn job readiness skills, soft skills, and much more. And then the month will end with a multi-industry in-person career and networking fair on September 28th. Mark your calendars and please stop by if you're looking for a new job or a new career. And if you know of anyone who would like to participate in a virtual event, but doesn't have access to a computer, please send them to the Workforce Center. We can help them get set up on the computer. Cool. That sounds, you know, that all sounds so great. Um, the Broomfield Chamber is super happy to be working with you guys. And we're all super excited for September coming up really, really quick. Um, is there anything else um, you'd like to add on to the podcast before we, we end it? Yes. Well, Lauren, I want to thank you for your time and the Chamber for the great partnership that we have. I also want everyone to know that the staff at the Workforce Center, they are extremely dedicated, very professional and fantastic people. We are working very hard to ensure Brumfield residents seeking employment have the resources that they need to obtain good, sustainable employment and employers have the resources that they need to find and keep good talent. We would love to hear from those of you who are looking to land a new job or employers looking to fill vacant positions in their company. Be sure to check out all of the Workforce Development events and workshops on our website. The website is broomfieldworkforce.org. And thank you, Lauren. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, uh, thank you, Kalalia. We appreciate you um, hopping on and we appreciate your time and, you know, hopefully, you know, Workforce Development Month um, really, really takes off. So it's a, it's a great resource to have in our community. And so, yeah, it's just, just great. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right.